On the night of Friday 25th May, a terrible accident occurred at Nanda village in Chiriandongo district, leaving 22 people dead and 13 injured. This was after Gaga Kampan bus traveling from Lila to Kampala crashed into a tractor and a trailer carrying beer. Now, cabinet that met on Monday has approved stringent proposals to be effected by the Ministry of Works and Transport to address road carnage. These include the installation of digital speed limiters in all commercial vehicles. Government spokesman Ofono Pondo announced the proposed measures during a press conference at the government media center. They were not regulated by law or policy and therefore they were very difficult to enforce. So government is having a second look at speed limit digital system. Government will also license all good vehicles and this process will require vehicles to fulfill certain regulatory requirements including inspection for roadworthiness. Much of the accidents that is taking place in the country are borne by two factors. One, human error, but also the roadworthiness of vehicles. So the government is trying to reevaluate this position and enforce it. The drivers of good vehicles will also be accredited and they'll have to undergo periodic refresher courses and training so as to obtain graduate driving licenses. Establish an automated driver's test center or test centers. This system is intended to minimize human bias and to allow learner drivers to undergo rigorous, tra rigorous training and testing to confirm their competences to drive before issuance of driving permits. A few days after the Kiriandong accident, President Yolim Seven declared three days of national mourning. He promised that government would give money to bereaved families and survivors of the accident. State House Comptroller Lucena Nachobe delivered 3 million shillings to each of the survivors and 5 million shillings to each family of the 22 deceased people. Meanwhile, Ofono Pondo, who addressed the media on behalf of Frank Tumebaze, the Minister for ICT and National Guidance, said government would borrow 85 million US dollars, approximately 320 billion shillings, from the Exim Bank of China to finance the National Science, Technology, Engineering and Innovation Skills Enhancement Project. Enhance skills development and promote science, technology, engineering and innovation-based enterprises. Juma Kiria, NTV.